fellow crafters and fellow coupon lovers, this is Florida Crafter, and I'm here to give you a breakdown of my Target haul from yesterday. I tried to film this last night, but I was just totally exhausted. Yesterday was just a Cassie day. I went out, shopped by myself literally all day long. Loving Target, loving Target. Uh, the day before, I took one, another one of my, uh, another one of the saints from my church. We went out and had a great day, but as I said, yesterday was a Cassie day, and man, did I score. I'm just going to pan over all the items that I got here. I had to spread them out on over the floor so that you can see, and those are those fabulous gift cards, and I want to give credit to that credit for that great deal to, I think it's Greg That Do TV. I'll put his YouTube channel down in the description bar. If you haven't seen his video and um, heard what he was talking about on that deal, I'll give you more information on that as well. And as I said, I'm just going to pan over and show you some of the things that I got, and then I'm going to give you a breakdown on it. I misplaced a couple of my receipts. Uh, I'm sure they're probably out in the car. But anyway, I'm sure a lot of you got a lot of the same stuff that I got. But let me go back over here. I'm going to tell you about the gift card deal. Now, what Greg did, I think it was on Friday, he did a quick video. Oh, sorry about that. He did a quick video on showing you how you could roll your gift cards over to make money for you. These three gift cards here are each worth $50. And what I did was I took five of each time I received, had at least five of the $10 gift cards. I would take those, take one of the coupons. Spend $50, get $10, and buy a $50 gift card. In turn, what that would do, I would walk out with a $50 gift card plus an additional $10 gift card for purchasing $50 worth of merchandise, if you will. And uh, at one of my stores, I heard a customer asking one of the managers if you could do that. And the manager said they didn't see why not. They said as long as the register didn't beat. The store would still be making money. It was fine with them. Love it. Now, what I'm going to do in the very end in the description bar or maybe on the screen, I'm going to give you a total number of all the items that I have. But I want to, like I said, I want to go ahead and give you a breakdown of what I did. And those are the infamous Norelco razors there. And I, ha I got another load of clothes that I just can't wait to take to the church and be able to bless some people. I just started a new at a new church, so these are really going to be great items um, to hand out. So now let's get down to the real nitty gritty. On one transaction, what I did, and I'm just going to leave the camera on the screen while I tell you what I did. On one transaction, what I had was three pair of the plus size shorts. At 5.38, and I used three of the $5 coupons. I had a plus size top, which was 4.48. Used a $5 coupon, which made it free. And I had two plus size hoodies that were that were 7.48. I think it was 7.48. And uh, I used two $5 coupons on those, so I paid 2.40 each, 48 each for those. I had four of the Kodak cam, two pack cameras. They were $13.99, and those were the HDs. I used four $10 coupons on those. I had three of the regular Kodak, the Fun Saver two-pack cameras. They were $11.99 each, and I used three $10 coupons on those. I had an additional plus-size top, which was $6.88. Used a $5 coupon. Two of the Corel lotions. I only had one $1 coupon that someone had left on the shelf. Thank you, whoever did that. And they were at $4.49 each. And I also received a $5 gift card for that deal. So my receipt says I saved $171. My subtotal was $7.37. There was no tax applied. And I received $30 in gift cards and one $5 gift card. In another transaction, I had two plus size shorts at $5.38 each. So I used two of the $5 coupons and, excuse me, used two of the $5 coupons and paid $0.38 cent each. I had three of the Norelco razors at $27.99 each. 
use three of the ten dollar coupons and that receipt said I saved hundred and fifteen dollars I received two ten dollar gift cards and paid four dollars and ninety cents now in each one of these transactions what I did instead of using my target correct yeah instead of using my target gift cards to pay what I did was I used some prepaid Visa cards that I had from CVS or Walgreens so I use those so that I can accumulate my gift cards to roll it over to the um, $50 deal that Greg was talking about. And let me see, where's my notes here? And on the last trans, well not the last transaction, but on another transaction, like I said, I've, I've misplaced a couple of receipts, like the one for the polish up there. I really want to find that receipt because on that one, I had two nope I had three raises on that deal also and all that polish that gauze which was on clearance for 78 cents and that's the Johnson and Johnson and I had the coupon for a dollar fifty on two and on that with that transaction I only pay I think it was like a dollar and ten cents so now back over here on another transaction I had three of the Palmer's cocoa butters four of the Norelco razors eight of the Kodak cameras used eight of the ten dollar coupons on the raises I used four of the thirty dollar coupons on the Palmer's cocoa butter I used three of the two dollar coupons that I received that I got from the Palmer's um, website and it came in a PDF file so I was able to save it and it has no expiration date on it and that transaction it said I saved two hundred and seventy three dollars I paid $28.25 with the Visa gift card and I got five $10 gift cards back. You cannot beat this with a stick. I tell you this deal was awesome. Everyone at my t both Target stores were fabulous. All the managers were great. Had no problem with the Norelco, excuse me, with the Norelco uh, coupons. One store, they just modified it down, but I didn't have a problem with that because free is free and free is always good. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so, again, as I said, I wanted to do this yesterday, but I was just totally exhausted. So, I'm getting ready to prepare for Sunday school, but I wanted to get this up before I left uh, for the day. Um, I go to a holiness church, so you never know what time I might be back. But nevertheless, thanks for stopping by, and as always, have a blessed day. Bye.